Hello all, welcome to part 2 of our tic-tac-toe uh, assignment. So in part 1, I had shown you how we can build the basic forms and add the images, add the images to resources and have them come here. And I also showed you how you can create these images for O and X. So we also modified the board. Uh, so let's go into the code of form um, 1. So, uh, not here, go back. So when we go back to form design, here we have selected like uh, the f uh, we have to select the image so the image was selected this is the tag we had the image so we select the image using this I can select blank I can select X so the goal was to make everything blank now what we are going to do is set the image from code this is uh, what is required so first for that we are going to create our main class that will maintain the board state and then we are going to write a function in the form that takes the state of the board and just draws out whether it's an x or zero so we are going to maintain the state of the board in a two-dimensional array so let's go ahead and create a new class here Let's call it tic-tac-toe board machine is a little slow today now in this class what we are going to do is uh, first create a two-dimensional array now you can create both an int array or a string array uh, I think I'll go with a string array because it makes the representation quite easy. So we will declare this and we'll say the main board. I'll, I'll just call it board is equal to, well, we'll assign it in the constructor. And then we declare a constructor where we'll set the board state is equal to new string and this is going to be a 3 by 3 board now let's create a private function where we initialize the value of the board we'll say initialize board and I'll come back to this later what we mean by initialize board uh, we'll basically uh, run a loop and then uh, set values in this board. Now let us create another function called get updated board. This will re uh, return the current board state. And obviously, since this will return a two-dimensional array, we have to define it that this board is returning a two-dimensional array. And this board simply returns the board, which is a two-dimensional array here and we want this state to be private we don't want anybody from outside or the class that is consuming the tic-tac board to get access to this variable the only way to get that is by through this function so this way you are protecting the values and that's why we have uh, private and public uh, member functions you want to give as limited access as possible all right so this will return as the get updated board now in the form one class actually one thing we should be doing here is assign IDs here so this will be picture box one this should be two this should be three this should be four five six seven eight nine now there's a way we can store the picture boxes also in a two-dimensional array but I think for the this introductory video and the, our class this uh, will be a little bit too complicated so let's just keep it simple and we'll use individual variable names for each one of these um, image boxes 
all right and now we have to have a click event everywhere right like every time the user clicks we have to change the state of the board so you double click on this and this will go to the picture one dot click now similarly you go back and again there are ways we can automate this but just to keep it simple I'm going the longer route just double click so that you go to the click click go to the click double click go to the click just go to the code sorry <laughs> all right so one thing is that we have going to have nine click functions so whatever we want to do any uh, the code that is going to execute when any of those picture boxes is clicked we should put it in a private function otherwise we'll have to repeat the code in multiple places so I'm going to just write a function private void draw board now one thing we'll have to do here is instantiate your tic-tac-toe board class so we'll create a tic-tac-toe board tic-tac-toe board we'll just call it main board and then we are going to instantiate in the constructor so the form public form one this is the constructor of the form class so we'll say main board is equal to new tic-tac-toe board and this way we'll be able to access the main board object anywhere inside the class for form one I hope you all remember that uh, user interface is also a class now what we need to do is figure out what is the value and then based on this draw the board so first we are going to get the value back from the main board class and we are going to use the function we just created which is called get updated board uh, just we'll call it board is equal to updated board now we need to check the value one by one so we can either do an if then else condition for every board but what we'll do we kind of need a mapping because the 0 0 index represents to picture 1 and uh, 0 1 will represent picture 2 these are the indexes of the picture board so let's start with the basic one so we'll have if board 0 zero is equal to and we are going to assign a string value so a blank string value means that nothing is assigned if the string value contains x which means we need to assign an x then we say picture box one oh, sorry I have to I've given it in the wrong or I gave it as a jagged array but we are not using that so what property of the picture box shows what image we need so let us go back to the form one designer uh, we'll go back into the properties where is the image it's called image dot image is equal to tiktok tail dot properties dot resources dot x so that's all we'll have to use here So I think we'll have to give the full name. So there we go. You have zero x and blank. So if it's equal to x, you should put an x here. Now if board zero is equal to oh, you just put resources dot x here. And if it's equal to blank you just put the dot blank now you realize I'll have to repeat this code for each picture box so this is like one two three four five six six lines of code for each picture box and I have nine picture box so which means nine six are 54 lines of code that is a lot I don't want to do that so let's do this let us write another function here we'll call it set image set image set image based on value and then we'll take a picture box uh, 
we'll pass the picture box that we want to do and then I'll get the value uh, value will be a single string oops now when I come here I'll just copy copy paste this code and then I'm going to replace the board zero by value and the benefit of this will be clear in a few minutes now if you're really uh, you know you want to do some manual work you can keep repeating this lines but your code is going to look too complicated than it needs to be so now see how simple this becomes all we have to do is set image on value pass the picture box one and then call it the value so we are doing the mapping here and the value will be board 0 comma 0 remember we are doing row first and then column so once it comes here it gets the picture picture box and this is wrong I shouldn't be using the picture box because otherwise it will set the image only on one so I've set this value here picture box and then changing the image now this variable here will take value of picture box one and now I'm going to repeat this function now it's going to take the value of picture box two of course for the board value I need to give it a different index and now I just have to have nine lines of code and that will do the function for me all right let's do copy paste here one more so picture box 3 is the first row and last column picture box 4 is the the second row and the first column remember we are starting with an index one so let's call it picture box five six seven eight nine and oops oops got an error here and then picture box uh, five is going to be the middle column and this will be one comma two this will be two comma zero two comma one two comma uh, two comma two sorry so this way every time we call this function draw board it's going to set the value based on this now we have to repeat what will happen if uh, when somebody clicks on a picture box so what you want to do you actually want to draw the board but you also have to change the value of the board now what we are going to do we'll go back to our class here the tic-tac-toe board class and here we are going to take a value of uh, which row and was clicked so it will be like we can take the index here comma int column and then we'll have to have a separate logic based on which user ran the value right so here what we are just going to do is take the row comma column and just set it to just say x right now that will be easy and then after changing this value we are going to return the board and when the board returns now this thing here when we are updating the board we actually should take this value as a variable and I'll exp you'll see why because this function is going to be called every time a board is clicked so I should just use this as string comma board and just remove this there we go now when you click on picture box one we will have to set the board state so we'll get the new board board is equal to main board dot 
get updated board now what value are we changing here we are changing 0 comma 0 so whatever value you have specified here we will have to specify a mapping here now there are a little bit more sophisticated ways of using a hash table or a dictionary that we can use here but for simplicity's sake let's keep it as is and after I got the board I'm going to call the draw board function give the board all right now let's run this so once we are going to run this we will see that the board will have some previous assignments because we didn't change the values that are displayed in each of those image boxes all right uh, tic-tac-toe board has come up and what we did if we click here this will change to an X and as you saw that happened now in the second part of this video I'm going to show you how we can do that the click event for each one of those um, individual picture boxes and we'd also see how we can initialize the board Till then, I'll see you in the third video.